Hey guys, what's up, Spider Team here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a faster version of how to make a World of Warcraft Trinity Core 3.3.5 private server. So the first thing that you want to do is that you want to download the repack, the Trinity repack, from the link in the description box below. So once you get this, it's going to be a RAR folder, so you also have to have WinRAR. The download for that will be in the description box below. So you just right click on that, click on extract here, and then you should get this folder. Trinity repack. So we can just go ahead and delete that if you want to, and we're gonna have this Trinity folder repack. So you just open that up, and you're gonna find Judy's repack control. So you want to open that too, and you should find it like this. So you need to click on server path, and then find your Trinity repack folder. Just hit on that, and then hit the word. Um, let's see. Alright, you hit the word core. Now hit OK, and it should be green because then it found the off server and the world server. That's what runs your server. So here we're going to click on MySQL, click on the Trinity Repack, tri click on server, click on MySQL, and then click on bin. Then hit OK, and it should turn green. The Apache, we're not going to worry about that for now. So anyway, right now you can just hit start the off server and start the world server, and your server should be running. But of course, you're going to need an account, and let me just go through some stuff real quick. So in the core folder, you're going to have these two folders, offserver.conf and worldserver.conf. Right click on them and open them up with Notepad or Notepad++, and you can edit a lot of things in here. Like this is for the server, and in the world server, you're going to find basically stuff to edit right here too, like your max level, you know, stuff like that. Experience, stuff like that. So I'm not going to go through that because I already made another video, which you're going to find on my channel. Um, it's a detailed version of this. I'm just going to go really fast on this. So once you've done that, you can go back to here. Let me just close up my personal server. And let me also close up my personal MySQL so the server can actually work. So hold on. Because you can't have two MySQLs running at the same time. All right, now forget about what I just did. Here, let's just start. So you get this Judy's Repack Starter, Restarter, and then you click on Start the MySQL. You have to start the MySQL first. It says start of the MySQL server, just hit on start the auth server, wait for that to load, and it's loaded. Judy's Blues Like Repack, that's the guy who made it, and he called it Judy's Blues Like Repack. I'm guessing his username is Judy, I actually know that for a fact. And so that's the realm name, you can change that later. So here you should also click on start the world server, run. And that should load, I'm, I'll be back once it's loaded. action all right guys so it has finished it says ready and that means that the server is running and it's ready so you can go ahead and close that judy's repack restarter application thing and over here let's create your account so you want to click on dot account create let's say wasim and the password we're going to make it wasim hit enter account created it wasim so when you get to go to your navicat or haiti sql to check your database you're going to see that it's created an account called, um, if you go to the auth server, it's called Wasim. So click on account, and you should see here Wasim. And the password, you can't really see it. So here you type in, for example, dot account, create your username. So let's say spider Wasim. And then let's say the password will be rock star. One, two, three. There you go. And then when you go back in here, uh, right here, and then you go back to the auth. Well, you have to double click on this, and then you click on the auth account, and should be right here. Uh, Spider Racim. Now, of course, you guys might not have this. Now, it should be like deleted for you. 
To actually get this, you need to click on connection, MySQL, and then type in your connection name. For example, server. And then let's type in the local host. You should leave that the same. And then the username should be root. The port should be 3306. The password should be A-S-C-E-N-T. That's ascent. Hit OK. And then you should have it. Double click on it. And there you go. You got it. So yeah. So that's basically how you run your server. Now you need to just change your Realmus to set Realmus 127.0.0.1. And you should be good to go. So thank you guys for watching my video. Um, please do comment and subscribe. This was a faster version of my old of my uh, other video of basically the same thing. I just go in details on it. So thank you guys for watching. Again, comment and subscribe. Also, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, you know, do your thing. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope this helped. And share this video. You know, give me a comment. Tell me what you thought. And I'll see you guys next time.